Today we're going to be uh, dealing with a couple of lantern slides from the mid 19th century, um, part of the Shadbolt collection. And lantern slides were um, a roughly three inch square piece of glass with an image on that was projected by a, what was called a magic lantern. It's a precursor to modern cinema in that they were shown to groups of people, tents and uh, theatres, for education or edu uh, entertainment purposes. This is one of the images. Normally we would put them on a flatbed scanner, very high resolution flatbed scanner, and do a transmissive scan. But in this instance we need to light them from both the front and the back, and that's the purpose of this setup we've developed here. And on this setup we would put the we'd lock the mirror up to reduce vibration, which um, because it's a very high res scan to capture as much as possible. So the image should appear. There it is. Just goes through a slight colour adjustment which allows us, we, we, we neutralise the image, we get the white balance as accurate as we can. One of the truly magical things about a digital image is that when we're in this domain we can examine the actual structure of the image. You can just sort of make out the original photographic image that's been hand tinted and the, the actual hand tinting isn't that accurate it's it's quite blobby in parts and they have used I if I can find it they've used the tone of the hand tinting to put arms on the man in the balloon because it's actually disappeared on the original previously we wouldn't have really seen that so you can actually examine these in more detail now with the um, onset of digital imagery now if I pull up the other image, you can see why we've used the technique we've used, because we can now actually translate his writing, which is extremely small on the original. But you can see what he's actually saying there. 1900 feet, I think that is. From 1900 feet, yeah. Obviously a balloon. And then, uh, for the time, it's amazing quality. 